Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good to get everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly update. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, before we get started, guys, uh, if you like the content, uh, if we give you some pretty good value on a day to day basis, and thank you very much for tuning in, uh, all I think is, uh, all I ask is just like the video and share if you so desire. Comment, all that good stuff. So let's talk about the tape. Um, you know, so we reclaimed uh, big levels back uh, two days ago. It was that big reversal. We reclaimed back the 20 day moving average and the next day reclaimed back the 10. Like we talked about last night's video, this was the highest closed in this whole formation. If when you look up and you see the final scoreboard is going to reflect the technical aspect of what happened uh, three days ago and what confirmed uh, today. Uh, Dow is up at 170 points, S&P up 27 points and the NASDAQ up uh, 112 points or 0.75%. Uh, As you can imagine, uh, the majority of names in the NASDAQ 100s are doing their thing. We talked about it pretty much going uh, across yesterday's board. Uh, Amazon continues to look great. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, Microsoft continues to look great. NVIDIA continues its magic uh, carpet ride. Uh, Meta was definitely, definitely the trade of the day today. Uh, it broke out. Uh, Apple, we talked about in last night's video, right? Had that reversal inside day, rested yesterday. So the market looks good, right? Market looks absolutely good. It, this is one of those videos that um, you don't need to spend 15, 20 minutes to talk about how good the market is. The market just looks good. And the longer we sit uh, above the 20-day moving average on uh, the NASDAQ 100, the higher probability would continue to go higher. Uh, two things of uh, importance for, for Thursday and Friday. We have the CPI coming out on Thursday. We have the P, uh, PPI coming out on Friday, more data, more crap that, that they've been reiterating for the last 200,000 times. So is it going to have an effect on what's going on in the market? Of course. Is it possible everything we just talked about in the last few seconds gets reversed and the market loses back to 20-day moving average? Of course, this is the stock market. Uh, everything is on the table. But from the, from the point of reference, from face value, the market continues to look good. What's great about uh, what we've seen so far in 2024 is the exaggeration effect, right? Usually when a stock breaks out, you know, you'll get a two, three dollar move. Maybe the next day you'll get another two, three dollar move. But there were so many funds last year who underperformed, right? Just because 2022 was such an just an aggressively bad year and so many funds lost money, a lot of funds just decided not to participate or short the market because again, there's no possible way the market go higher, right? Right? Impossible. No way it would go higher, especially after uh, especially after the inflation readings, especially after the rates going high and all that stuff. So a lot of name, a lot of funds are playing catch up. And because they're playing catch up, they're 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 almost to the point of panic, right? Panic getting into these trades. So usually on a breakout of NVIDIA, you know, maybe it would go up six, seven points one day, maybe another six, seven points, maybe ten points the other. Day. You know, the panic in NVIDIA literally took the stock from 475 uh, to 546 in, in about four trading sessions. That's huge. Look at case in point today on Meta. Meta did not have a downtick to like 230. Okay, if you look at the 60-minute view today, Meta had a massive, massive move, and it finally got a downtick around the 230 level. And guess what happened? They bought the, they bought the downtick into the rising 60-minute support and took it back to the high. So the market is really, really aggressive right now. Uh, funds are pouring into these names. And the question is, what stocks break out next? I'm glad you asked. Even though you didn't, I'm glad you asked. So there's three names, right? Three names on watch for tomorrow that potentially can break 52-week highs or yearly highs or 2023 highs, whatever the hell you want to call it. They're poised, right? They're poised and they're ready to go. Let me give you guys a couple of names. First and foremost, you have Amazon, right? Amazon was an awesome, awesome break today. Uh, we still have a runner overnight. It's very, very close to December highs. If it could start building above December highs, who knows? I mean, am I expecting a $10 move in Amazon? Yeah, probably not. But, you know, the way the market's been treating these beta names of breaking out of yearly highs, well, it's not out of the realm. 
Look at Microsoft, right? Microsoft had a huge move today, absolutely huge move today. Look how close Microsoft is on the November highs, right? It's just the stone throws away. If they could confirm the November highs, maybe Microsoft could pull uh, a Nvidia out of its hat. You never know. Look at Google, right? There's a lot of names, guys, but these are you know these are the names that primarily the three out of the ten names that I trade you know all the time. So look at Google. You know, Google is ready for this whole range, right? This is the range that started all the way back to October uh, going into December. If it could confirm this range, maybe Google has a very, very aggressive up. Uh, NVIDIA, again, who the hell knows where it's going to stop, right? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Eventually, it will have a blow off top. Eventually, we'll have a couple of days of a back test. And eventually, sellers will take over just because buyers will be in one of those buyer strikes just because they're tied. But other than that, this is a phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, also basically a 10% breakout in the stock in the last three days. So this is really, really a strong market action. Even Apple, right? We talked about Apple yesterday. Apple had a great, great, you know, had a horrible, excuse me, three-week decline. Two days ago, it had, a, it had an engulfing candle, reclaimed back three days worth of selling, rested yesterday, got downgraded, right? Got downgraded. They negated the downgrade. They claim, reclaim today's channel, and they, they gave a nice little dollar move uh, into the close. So we're set up, right? The bulls are set up. Is it possible, again, there's a curveball tomorrow into the CPI number and everything goes to hell in a hand basket? Absolutely. And guess what? If the market does go lower, there is one stock. Can you guess what it is? I've been only talking about it for three days. It's very, very close. Very, very close. So if the market does start to tend uh, to go back the other way and the CPI number is not perceived as healthy, well, we have an answer to that too. And, and Tesla is incredibly close, guys. Look how close we are. We talked about it last night. This is now day two below the 50-day moving average. All it needs to do is take out one more level, guys, just one more level and clear out uh, clear out this, uh, what is this thing? This is the two. This is the 200-day, right? This is the 200-day here. If it could clear out the 200-day moving average, and any close below the 200-day, there will be a swan dive. So that's what's great about this, this environment. You have a lot of stocks potentially breaking out of year-to-day highs, and then you have the king of all trading vehicles, no pun intended, right? Setting up to the downside as well. So we're definitely ready for tomorrow's session. Uh, the market looks good. Again, the whole Bitcoin ETF saga is going up. Another, you know, a couple of, was it yesterday? They had a, some, somebody hacked their SEC account, talking about Bitcoin is ready. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old for this crap. Does anybody really care about this, right? You're either in Bitcoin or you're not. Is anybody going to really trade it in another, you know, another, look, all these, all these fancy schmancy derivatives, right? They're there to suck in the, the retail public. Look, if you want to buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. You're going to start playing with Bitcoin ETFs. It's like the queues, right? If you want to buy the queues, buy the queues. Don't start looking for like all these weird you know, derivatives, SQQQs, there's like a million different, well, this is the opposite, but TQQQ, right? If you want to trade the Qs, buy the Qs. If you know, if you want to short the Qs, short the Qs. Don't start buying these creative derivatives. So all I think this Bitcoin ETF is, is just an, is, is something that I, I learned during a high school cinema class. It's called a MacGuffin. And all MacGuffin means is when the director is putting something in your, in your peripheral vision that is distracting you from the overall genre, the overall theme of the movie, that's what this Bitcoin ETF is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. I cannot wait to not to trade it. Anyway, guys, that's it, right? That's it. Let's look at the, you know, let's look at some of the pivots today. Again, as you can imagine, a uh, very, very aggressive day. Again, the market just continues to be really good. Uh, Apple, uh, inside day yesterday, 185.60 needs to build. Uh, Apple went right into the close. I was already gone for the day, so if you guys took it, uh, great job. So you can see Apple took out this whole channel here, took out 8560 and closed basically uh, within, you know, closed basically within the highs of the day. It's trading up about 20, 30 cents after hour. So a nice dollar pop uh, into the close on Apple. Tesla got down to the 50 day support, only went down about a buck. I'm watching it very, very closely tomorrow. Microsoft went nuts. It opened up at the 376.30s and just just went bananas, went ab absolutely bananas opening range highs. Uh, Amazon 171 and the pre-market highs, 52.20s needs to build. Amazon was great. Again, we're holding a runner. 
uh, overnight. Just a huge, huge move out of this whole channel. Here's the whole channel here. They got rejected 52.20 several times pre-market and just exploded. Good looking chart. Really good looking chart. Just like pretty much like everything else. Uh, Meta was definitely, you know, definitely the move of the day. Even if you sold it early, you made five, six points on it. Meta 361 and 361.90. Macro needs to build. Here is Meta, right? Once it confirmed uh, the 361, which was yesterday's channel, 361.90 was the high from 1228. Uh, all it did was put up a $13 candle. That's it. All it did was put up a $13 candle. Uh, Dash uh, 104. I think we talked about Dash on the video last night. 104 needs to build. Here was Dash, right? Took out 104 area, traded all the way up to 106 and change. So that's it. I mean, it's a strong market. It's a strong breakout market. Again, you don't have to be uh, very, very creative here. Uh, Netflix, uh, 85, uh, 25 needs to build. Went up a couple of bucks and then it died. Uh, Shopify, I don't, I, I wasn't even looking at Shopify. I have no idea what it did. Uh, Shopify, 80, 81 needs to build. Looks like it went, you know, traded 81, 81, 30. It really didn't do anything. So the moral of the story is, guys, while the market is this strong, you know, and the breakouts are working, trade the breakouts. Eventually, the market is going to go through digestion mode, okay? Digestion mode, and, and the channel is going to shrink. And then you have to find, you know, different creative ways to make money. You know, that's where we come in with trading channels, rejections, bounce spots, all that stuff. But while it's working, definitely try to take advantage of it. And let's see tomorrow if Amazon, Google, and Microsoft could put on their best Halloween costumes of NVIDIA and turn something into something special. Guys, God bless everybody. Tomorrow night is my usual uh, night off, so there will be no video for all you guys who are joining us in the webinar. Look forward to meeting to you. Guys, God bless. Have a good night.